What's going on everybody? Today, I have my buddy Kale's car. He's not here today, he lent me this car just so I could do a five things I like video. And next week's gonna be a five things I dislike on this car. But, without further ado, let's just get into it. Before we get too far in the video, I just wanted to ask you, if you do enjoy the video, or if you enjoy anything about it, please leave a like and subscribe, it does help me in the channel a lot. And that's pretty much it there. So the first thing to start off on this list, the car is very affordable. First, initially buying it out, it was only five to seven thousand dollars, somewhere in that range, Canadian. And after that, it doesn't even get much worse. Parts are all cheap because Kia is a very wide, big brand. Parts are pretty cheap for this car, which is amazing. And same with gas. Gas, you get four to five hundred kilometers per tank for like a sixty dollar fill up, which is pretty good all in all. It's a great car if you're looking for something fun for a budget. Next thing about this car is it, the car looks really good for what you're paying for, especially because he has the R spec package or the SER coupe or the SXR. I can't remember. I made a whole video on it in the last a lot, little bit ago. If you want to go check that out, feel free. But the car looks amazing for what you're paying for. It's extremely nice. It's a two door coupe with all these aero extra packages on it. It's lowered a little bit with this package on it. And even if you get the base model, the car still looks really good as a coupe compared to a lot of other things you can buy within this this price range. From the front splitters heading around to the extra lowered car, the side skirts and everything, just looks really good. Same with the spoiler on the back and the, X, the LED tail lights. They look really good for what you're paying for. This car has an exhaust on it, which I think sounds really good, and I'll give you a start up in a few minutes, but everything on this car for the price you're paying for you really can't go wrong i know a lot of people like this car as there was a lot of support on the last video saying you wanted to see more of it so we'll start off with just this but all in all this car is really really good looking and for seven thousand dollars what are you gonna go how like what are you what are you gonna do it's perfect price Third thing I want to talk about, the inside and the trunk are very spacious. The front seats at least, the back seats don't really want to put anyone back there. But the front seats, there's a lot of room. Kale is 6'3 and he has a lot of room to work with still, which is surprising. So if you're tall, uh, it's a great coupe as small as it looks. And the trunk, the trunk also has a lot of room. There's enough room to fit a golf bag or two in here. He just has shoes and clothes and whatnot. But, trunk's very spacious and the front seat as well is extremely spacious so if you're a big person looking for a coupe this is a great option for you the next thing the dash in its entirety is just very very nice the interior the buttons are all very nicely laid out with a, they're very nicely laid out the touch screen is a package that isn't added in all of them but is a very nice feature it's very easy to navigate through the big one dial which i really like and there's not a ton of buttons for you to play around with and figure out it's very simplistic inside and it looks really nice this package on the inside there's red stitching everywhere on the seats on the steering wheel they look really good there's just a lot of small things added into this car that you can say they worked they did a little bit of, of work to make sure it's perfect to what they want. The coupe badges on the ins or in the the handles and all the kick plates and it looks very good. This car interior I really really do enjoy. The next thing and the last is the drivability of this car is phenomenal. Super smooth, it's very beautiful just to, to cruise around in. The clutch, because he has the stick version, the clutch is very soft and easy to press in and out and there's really no effort there. Bites really nicely. The drivability of this car is really, really nice. As many cars you may have driven, you'll get in this and be quite surprised. On the highway, there's absolutely no bumps or no shakes, jitters, anything. It's a very, very smooth, nice ride. So, it was a quick video, but I'm trying to just make a couple short ones just for the five things we like. I'm not trying to drag it out as much as possible, but that's gonna be it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, because it does help me in the channel out a lot. If you wanna see more of my content, please feel free to subscribe, as again, it does help me in the channel out a lot. And thanks guys again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.